Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 427 for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to, welcome back to the Business Brain show here at businessbrain.show. We are the show where we take our business brains and apply them to all kinds of things in our lives, our business lives, our personal lives, because it's all just our lives. And our business brains can help us maybe make things a little bit better, or at least see things a little bit differently. Here, back here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And still here in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. I got a lot of travel, man. man. How was uh, the traveling uh Good. I'm home for like six days. It's amazing. I, uh, wow. yeah, Lisa and I were in, in Mexico seeing fish on the beach, uh, over the weekend, which was great. Nice. Fish the band, yeah. not, not just fish rolling not up on the beach. Fish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it was great. That's it great. was, it was fun. It was good. Um, and then next week I head off to Vegas for podcast movement and then nice. straight from Vegas to Austin for some of South by Southwest. So. Sounds like a good, uh, good plan. Uh, yeah, yeah. It seems like a good plan. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, hopefully it all works out to be productive. That's and, cool. Yeah. 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 I look forward to hearing about it. I, you you uh, will hear about it. We will, we will record at least one episode while on I'm, road? while I'm on the road. Yeah. It, it's unavoidable nice. with, uh, yeah. with the trip that yeah. long. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, I, I don't mind the idea of recording on the road. I think it always sort of changes the perspective of things. And I like that. Uh, sure. The logistics of recording on the road for me are kind of a pain in the neck only because I have set up such a great system here in my studio. Mm, right, right, right. I, you know, on the road, I have to figure out like, where am I going to put my microphone? And I don't get to mix my signals the way I like because I've got to do it all from, you know, my laptop. I don't, yeah, but you know, this is first world problems, podcaster problems. Yeah. It's all you fun. Got it. Yeah. 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 Speaking about communication, yeah, man, we were just we were just having a conversation before we started uh, recording all about apps. We were talking about we have a new sponsor coming on uh, that has an app or service called Notion, and we're learning about that. And then we start talking about Slack, and I was lamenting the fact that uh, I have trouble getting non technical people to stick with Slack as part of our community, you know, like the main communication tool. Yeah. And it quickly uh, kind of falls back into texting back and forth. And that is very problematic because they're not all iPhone users. So you know how that can be challenging in a group of Android and iPhone oh, mix. Yeah. It's yeah. very tough. Um, yeah. And so, you know. There's a, well, there's a lot to unpack here. The the first, yeah. the first is, uh, I'll start with the the texting thing. Um, especially having been in Europe twice in the past year, I really, really miss out on. Um, I lament the fact that here in the U.S., the way our technology and the pricing for our our communication services evolved, we got to a point where we were comfortable using texting to communicate with each other. Like we were willing right. to pay for it because, and, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because we wound up getting, you know, what I'll call un unlimited texting included in our plans uh, early enough in the process, you used to have to pay for every text message you sent and received, or you'd buy, you know, a, a block of them that would be included in your plan or whatever. Right. But it, but it and, and no one ever used it because it was like, well, I, I can't use up my, my texts, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then, then that changed, right? We, we got unlimited talk and text and then you pay for data. And that happened early enough that we all started using texting and, I, I, I mean, at the time, I'm sure that was great and I was happy about it at the moment. Now I, I am upset that that's how it evolved here because I see how it evolved in Europe and over there, they got reasonably priced data before they ever got unlimited texting. And the byproduct of that is culturally, they 
use texting less, far, far less. Uh, the countries where I have been recently, it's uh, WhatsApp is the sort of the default. Sure. Everyone with a smartphone installs WhatsApp. It is yeah. the way they communicate. Even iPhone users, iPhone to iPhone, don't use iMessage. They just use WhatsApp. Now, the nice part about WhatsApp is that it is a fully modern, data-centric texting app. So, you know, when you've got a group text, like if you've got a group text with, well, if it's an SMS or an MMS group text, which is what happens if you're not on an iPhone or at least one person in the group isn't on an iPhone, it just uses sort of the default MMS. And it's awful when you try to send pictures or videos or something right. in there. It just like it, 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 it crunches them down and makes them awful. That doesn't happen with WhatsApp because WhatsApp is a modern messaging platform. Like iMessage is a modern messaging platform. But, um, but yeah, over in Europe, and I found, we talked about this on one of my other shows, and I found someone sent us, I didn't find it, one of our listeners uh, over at Mac Geek Cab sent us a, the results of a study where they looked at what the most popular messaging app was in any given country. Now, they did not include SMS in this, so it's a little misleading because it'll mm, tell you that okay. Facebook Messenger is the most popular one in the U.S., and that is true. If you take mess, if you take SMS out of it, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, but um, but throughout most of the world, there were a hundred and something countries that were part of the uh, survey, and over a hundred of them, WhatsApp was the um, was the the winner, and and then yeah, Facebook yeah. Messenger was very much a close second, and and then there, are, you know, there's some others or whatever, but but it's a very interesting thing being in a culture like where we were just were in Italy or where we were in Greece over the summer where WhatsApp is the default and yeah, it's just so sense. much simpler and it's really nice because as a as a a uh, a foreigner traveling there I buy a data plan for my phone but I don't buy extra texting on my on my main number but it's great because everybody uses WhatsApp that takes part that happens over my data plan and so I can just immediately immerse in this like Airbnb host and everybody just uses WhatsApp and it's totally fine. So yeah, that's great. It's yeah. a good, it's a good solution. And like, we I, just, I we will never get there here though. That's yeah, the problem yeah. is we're already entrenched on SMS. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to happen. I mean, yeah. even the messages like trying to keep everybody on the same page. Sometimes they, it bumps out into a separate yep. message. Trying, I mean, it, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Uh, yeah. And, and so coming up with the, you know, an app or a way to communicate with, with groups that, um, you know, are in my experience, non-technical and I love Slack. I, I use it every day. Yep. It, there's lots of benefits. I understand how it works, but I've just seen that, uh, non-technical people, regardless of age, uh, what they do is they'll just stop interacting with it and then they go back to text and yep. then you have to say well i posted that in the slack or i i you know i linked it here and and it's it's a battle that um that you so lose it, everybody yeah, you lose it. I, I, everybody yeah. has to i i've experienced this my my business life is i'm easily able to keep in slack and it is I, to, to to your point it is imperfect it's not intuitive enough no for people yeah, to true. just like people don't start using it and instantly see the the benefit. It's it's a hurdle for them, and e even technical people, it's a hurdle for. But you know, we're I, I guess we're willing. We're more used to technical hurdles, and so it, like it it happens. But with the bands that I play in, um, technically all three of them are on Slack. One of them is going to fall off of Slack because of exactly what you said. People yeah. just not being willing to engage, invest yeah. the time to get there. A, 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 one of the bands I'm in, everybody's a nerd. And as soon as they experienced Slack, they were like, oh, this is so much better. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I know. Like, that's why I that's suggested right. it, you know, and, and, and it's, and that band's fine. That's fully immersed, fully entrenched. The, the, the second one I didn't think was going to happen. And we have people in that band from, you know, t mid twenties to mid fifties. And it was two of the mid twenties people that were like, yeah, I, I don't get this Slack thing. I, let's just go back to texting, you know, it's yeah. like, no, please That's don't. Right. Cause not everybody's mm -hmm. on an iPhone, you know? And, yeah. uh, and they finally, I, I made the plea at a gig. I, I, I usually don't try to con try to like, you know, convert people, but I made the plea at a gig once I was just ranting and I'm like, no, it, like we're missing out. We really are. 
and and the other people were like, um, okay, let, let's try it again. And and now we're there. Like everybody's on board and That's it's great. totally fine. But it did take a, you know, a, a, a begging and pleading scenario to get people into What about, it. Uh, have you have you used Microsoft Teams, which is their Slack competitor, right? Yeah, I, I have never, never successfully. Let me put it that way. Yeah. 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 It's, it's interesting because uh, I do see uh, more and more people, something that I interact with is like, oh, let's, let's schedule this in teams and, huh. you know, this kind of thing. And, and I wonder if I, that's, is it better than Slack? Like, like in terms of the, it's the, different, the intuitiveness. I, yeah. I think it's maybe more intuitive and almost everybody has office right on their computer and it's kind of baked in. And so it, I've, uh, talking to like I know my daughter uses it for her their business, huh. and it just it's it's uh people tend to adapt to it perhaps a little easier. Interesting. Uh, we 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 need to explore it. If if you use Teams, tell us how it is, or if uh, you use something else, um, feedback at businessbrain dot show dot s h o w. I'd I'd love to hear you know uh, or use you know. Google Hangouts or what is it? How do you keep your groups uh, connected? It would be great. And we can share it here on the show and uh, get you entered to win a MacBook Air this year. But there's a ton of them. Hey, if you're looking to get money for your business, make sure you tune in to the Business Credit and Financing Show hosted by funding expert Ty Crandall. Ty has helped over 50,000 entrepreneurs get capital and during each of his podcast episodes, he interviews industry experts and gurus about how to easily get the capital you need to grow your business and the strategies you can deploy to grow your company faster. Ty covers topics like how to get money to start a business, the types of financing you can get even if you have credit issues, the fundability criteria lenders use to approve you, and more. If you want to tap into business credit and financing to grow faster, visit creditsuite.com and click resources and then select podcast. Then choose your preferred platform to subscribe and listen on previous episodes. Head there now and tell them we sent you here from Business Brain to get your free step-by-step -step business credit building blueprint. Again, that's creditsuite.com. We'll put a link in the show notes so you can get there. And our thanks to Ty for doing this swap with us. Shannon, you mentioned that uh, everybody has Microsoft Office on their computer. I, I am I am perhaps the one person who doesn't. I, I, well, I... I got you're, sick. You're it, a contrarian. So. <laughs> well, no, it was I got sick and tired of paying the subscription for it and very rarely using it. But here's yeah. the thing. I say that I never start a document in office. Um, if I'm going to start a spreadsheet, I do it um, I, either in Google Docs or in Synology Office, which is like, OK, um, yeah, sure. Which is the, the, the Synology makes uh, network storage devices. So Synology Office is like Google Office in that it's all based in a web browser, but instead of it being hosted by Google, it's hosted on my Synology disk station, right? Which is great. Private. It's all those things. That's but cool. that's yeah. where I start all my documents. If I'm going to start a spreadsheet locally, and again, it's rare that I would do this, but it happens, then I would use Apple's numbers. And that's largely because of... I'm very comfortable in Excel and obviously all these other things are, are pretty much derivatives of, of Excel. You know, they use all the same, a lot of the same commands and, and all that stuff. Um, my issue with office and why I started using numbers and pages instead of office is office just, it's so bloated. It takes so long to load that if I just want to get going on something, I just want to be able to, to get rolling now, huh. all of that. So, so I never will launch I never would launch any part of Microsoft Office to start a document. I'm either doing it online or I'm doing it, uh, you know, in in pages or numbers on my Mac. However, I get Excel spreadsheets from right. people all the time. Word documents as well, but spreadsheets that I need to collaborate on. Now, I do not recommend using like Apple's office your apple's numbers to excel Pages? conversion oh, yeah. well oh, yeah, yeah. i mean if i, if I got if, if if you yeah. were to send me an excel spreadsheet and i i could open it in pages it will convert it but that's the key it converts it to a numbers document 
I could make my edits and then convert it back. What you get back will look different to you than what you sent me, not just because of the the things I added to it, but because of these double conversions. It's a nightmare. Yeah. So when I'm trying to work with clients, which are, you know, people that'll send me like they want a proposal from me. So we'll put together the proposal. We'll send it back. I don't want it looking wrong to them. I don't want it breaking their formulas, yeah. which, which it does in these conversions. So I found I'm like, OK, but I still don't want to like now. I, now I'm being a contrarian. Like there was a logical reason to find myself in this scenario. And then it was like, I'm going to stay here. Dang it. Uh, and I started using this app called LibreOffice. Which mm, is, yeah, yep, it's it's part of the open office suite of apps, which is Microsoft fully, you know, 100% Microsoft Office compatible, but for free. And LibreOffice is the one that is the most Mac-like of these. And it's 100% free. And you can do, uh, you know, you can do cool. uh, PowerPoint, Excel, we're like, it's got all of the things in there. And when you open a document with it, when you save it, you, you know, you can choose to save it in like the open office format, which I don't, I just choose to save it in Excel, but it's truly natively opening and saving as Excel, not converting on the fly. Yeah. And it works great. Like I, I use LibreOffice probably every day now because we do a lot of stuff with Excel proposals and it's, and yeah. it's fine, but yeah, it's, um, so I'm, I'm that I'm sort of, I, I got my, I found myself yeah, I, in a contrarian yeah. scenario and I stayed there. Yeah. 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 But I, I, back to the kind of communication and flow and, you know, we, we did, uh, we've talked a lot about remote work and, and we did a whole episode on, uh, communicating and keeping things going and just find, you know, finding the app that I guess if, if people, if, if they work for you, and you're telling them this is the platform we use. They they're going to embrace it yes. because they have no they have no choice. In my case here, where I have problems with it, is people that uh, don't have to do it. I say, right? I hate that. I no, hate like that. That, but, that's my problem in the bands that I'm in. I'm not the yeah, boss. I'm yeah, Dave right, Bang right. Drum. You know, that's it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's an interesting part of it and I'm I'm like I said I'm I'm looking forward to learning about Notion and seeing what they have they have it seems like they've combined a lot of these functions and um uh, I'm, Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if Notion would be out, built so. to re I, I need to learn more about it and we will. Me too. But yeah. I don't think it's built to replace Slack. I think it's built to work alongside it. Sure. So yeah. I I'd be curious to hear from all of you what do you yeah. use and and if you do use Slack and you and and you've been nodding your head as we've been going along here, uh, you know that yeah yeah I've had trouble onboarding people. What have you learned? If have you learned any successful tricks? Share those with us. We'll share them with the audience here, and you know everybody yeah. gets to win. So speaking of winning, feedback at businessbrain.show, and if your email is featured in an episode, you're entered to win that MacBook Air this year. So good stuff. You got anything else for him, it Shannon? Is. No, that's great. I'm, All right. I'm focused on communication. I love it. Uh, yeah, same, same. Uh, thank you, folks, and uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for all your tips that I know you're going to send us. Feedback at businessbrain.show. And, uh, yeah, keep living that charm life. See you next time.